The New York State Board of Regents is voting tomorrow on proposed rules requiring private schools to comply with the state's minimum academic standards. The vote will follow an alarming New York Times investigation on Hasidic Jewish schools. The Times reports, for example, more than 1,000 students at the Central United Talmudical Academy in Brooklyn took standardized tests in reading and math. 100% of those students failed. The report underscores a years-long tug of war between proponents of Jewish religious education and those who feel there should be a secular component of basic non-religious education. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer joining us now with reaction to this ongoing struggle. Marsha. Well, Dana, I've been reporting on this story for five years. The de Blasio administration saw this as a political hot potato and used the pandemic as an excuse to put the invention on the back burner. Mayor Adams is now putting it on the front burner. I want a thorough investigation. I want an independent review. Mayor Adams talking about stunning findings by the New York Times that the vast majority of students at New York yeshivas are unable to pass standardized tests given to public school students. 99% of the thousands of Hasidic boys who took the standardized test in math and English in 2019 failed. 80% of Hasidic girls failed. The findings come as the State Board of Regents met today to discuss a new regulation in which Hasidic schools, yeshivas, could lose public funds if they fail to provide students with a basic secular education. The ruling is expected tomorrow and could mean the loss of $1 billion in funding over five years for the state's 160 yeshivas, 102 of which are in New York City. The chancellor has made it clear uh, that we're going to make sure every child receives a quality education in the city. The Board of Regents ruling follows a politically charged debate touched off when young advocates for fair education filed a complaint with the city that dozens of yeshivas were graduating students who couldn't read and write English. The group's then executive director, Neftali Moster, told me in 2017 that he was a victim of poor secular education in Hasidic schools. In elementary school and some of middle school, we received approximately 90 minutes of secular education. In high school, we got no secular education at all. Ari Herskovitz telling me in 2017 he had to teach him himself to read and write after attending a yeshiva in Williamsburg. I left school when I was 18, after I was 18, and I do not have a high school diploma or, or even the knowledge that a high school diploma comes with. There has been intense pushback by the yeshivas, pushback that reportedly made the de Blasio administration drag its feet in investigating the charges. A spokesman for the yeshiva is telling CBS2 they oppose the region's ruling. Parents in New York have been choosing a yeshiva education for more than 120 years, a spokesman said, and they are proud of the successful results and will continue to do the same with or without the support of state leaders in Albany. City Councilman Kalman Yeager, whose Brooklyn district includes several yeshivas, defends the success of the religious schools. Look at our kids that are coming out of yeshivas, look at the kids that are coming out of the public school system, and then ask yourself, really is the yeshiva system failing? What I'll also say is that what you don't have in, you, in yeshiva systems and you do have in the public school system is rampant cheating. Well, in the past five years, the de Blasio administration, which was largely supported by the Hasidic community, investigated just two of 28 complaints against yeshivas. A spokesman for Mayor Adams tells CBS2 that this time around, political support will play no role. Dana? The vote tomorrow in Albany, any time? I hope it's in the morning. I mean, it depends on how many people want to speak. This is so personal and obviously so important, the education of children. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with CBS2 and CBS New York for continuing coverage on this story and the Board of Regents vote. For a link to the New York Times article, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.